This episode of Two and a Half Geeks is brought to you by Data Robotics Drobo. You may be familiar with Drobo for the home user, but for small to medium-sized companies, check out drobo.com slash business for simple, sophisticated storage solutions for the enterprise. Coming up on Two and a Half Geeks, Matrox's amazing new graphics card, the future of mobile gaming, and more. Hello, welcome to Up Geeks. I'm Ayaz Akhtar alongside Dave Altavilla and Marco Cipetta from Hot Hardware. How are you guys doing? Completely radical. Very good. Doing fantastic. You're doing fantastic. Yes. Is that really the case? Or it, are you, are you really thinking about Matrox's Parhelia 128 megabyte AGP card? Are you just confusing that, yourself? That's exactly what I'm thinking about. This thing is is amazing. So Matrox has been a long time leader, you know, in the graphics card space on the PC. They've finally come out with their their latest um, graphics processor called the Parhelia. This thing is nuts. You know, 80 million transistors in this chip. It is huge. It's like the size of a business card. It's completely nuts. You're talking about a, a 200. Plate. What was that? I thought it was the size of a dinner plate. Uh, close enough. Close enough. Okay. Uh, you're talking about a 220 megahertz core clock, and you know, with 275 megahertz DDR memory, this thing has an insane 17.6 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. But Shock. the really cool feature about the Parhelia is that it can run three monitors from a single card. So you're able to, you know, game well with some games, uh, game across three screens. It's really wild. That's insane. I mean, these days, stats like that are just unheard of. I mean, it's just nuts. that's just, I, I, it's, I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around this. With the tests you guys ran on it, how did it do? So it did okay with like a really taxing game like Comanche 4 or yeah. Quake 3. Um, it had no problem producing uh, playable frame rates at really high resolutions like 1024 by 768. Wow. Um, we were actually able to test Quake 3 across three screens, and that worked no problem. Now, the one thing is, even though this is an immensely powerful chip, um, the GeForce 4 and Radeon 8500 from uh, NVIDIA and ATI kind of outpaced it uh, in many instances. So it's, this is one of those situations where if you want the extra features, the Parhelia is a, a really nice option. But if you're okay. all about frame rates, uh, it's still NVIDIA and ATI's ballgame. Well, let's talk about mobile gaming. Let's talk about the shift to, to uh, actually gaming on a laptop, which I know sounds insane. I mean, desktops have always been killing laptops. But... I know you guys tested out the Pentium 4M and NVIDIA's GeForce 4 440 Go. Dave, what did you find out about these two amazing things? Yeah, performance behemoths. Uh, the, the, the Intel Pentium 4M at 1.6, 1 1.7, and 1.8 gigahertz. And uh, we, we actually tested it on the Intel uh, i45 chipset, believe it or not, uh, with a gig of uh, DDR... SD RAM on board this thing, a full gig. And, you know, uh, 0.13 micron uh, process geometry to build the, 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 the GP, the uh, CPU, excuse me, um, which, you know, if you think about it um, in, you know, terms of size and dimension, it's, it's tiny. It's like, I don't know, maybe uh, the width of a human hair. So, anyways, long story short, along with the GeForce 440 Go, which, believe it or not, uh, here you're talking about a full AGP 4X implementation on this thing, 256-bit graphics engine, 32-bit color capability, 32-bit Z stencil buffer, and a 256-bit 2D engine optimized for 8 bits per, per pixel. I mean, hardware transforming lighting on board, the thing flew. And, you know, the, the laptop, it's a bit of a boat anchor. It's the Dell Inspiron 8200, but... What are you gonna do if you if you if you're gonna if you want some serious performance, you gotta you gotta haul around some hardware. Yeah, but I mean, this sounds like the, the Matrox would kill it at this point. I mean, when are we gonna see something of that kind of power in a laptop? I mean, especially a laptop that's not 17 pounds. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where hey, it's a desktop replacement machine, and mm -hmm. so you know, live with it. But you know, it, you're talking about again a, a 1.6 gig Pentium 4, 512 meg or to a gig of DDR. Uh, SD RAM, a 30 gig ATA 100, 5400 RPM hard drive on board. I don't so, know. I mean, so this, this still sounds like I should stick to a desktop. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get performance gig. in a laptop. No joke. 
well, fine, portable. Who needs 30 gigabytes? Seriously, that's just way too much space. You know, the next thing we're going to talk about has got me super excited. It's the ATEC Super Mini Optical Mouse. Now, I'm going to show you this thing. Take a look at this amazing piece of styling. Now, this is a USB optical mouse, okay, and it's tiny. And I'm, I know Marco wants to talk all about it. Yeah, you know, so this is kind of one of those cool products that you never think you're going to need. But, you know, once you're on the road and you have a notebook and you get sick of that track point or, you know, the touchpads, you know, they get flaky and they freak out when your palms touch them. You wish you had a mouse, but you don't want to carry around this big bulky mouse. So ATEC came out with this little tiny optical mouse, just like some of the desktop op optical mice. And you just plug it right into USB, works with all versions of Windows. And you have this, in this little tiny form factor a fully functional mouse that you can just toss right in your laptop bag. Now, it's using USB. Do you have to like install any drivers or anything? Um, if, if you have uh, like Windows 2000 or, or newer, you don't. Oh, With good. Windows uh, 98 or 90, well, actually, Windows 98, you have to have the USB pack installed and install drivers. Um, with 95, same deal. Really interesting. Any idea what the price was on this? It, it's forty nine ninety nine, which is actually really affordable for a, for a mouse these that's days. That's an optical mouse that's portable, and wow, that is that is dirty. Yeah, I mean to think about you kind of you have too. you know an infrared sensor, you have an infrared LED, this tiny form factor. I mean, fifty bucks is steel if you ask me. Now, Dave, we got to talk about another graphics card here as we're wrapping up the Bitchin Fast three D two thousand Ultra Pro. And yeah, baby. Let's see, you guys sent me an attachment. This is going to take about a couple minutes to download. Give me a minute. Uh, it's got multiple uh, uh, components on it. From like, there's, there's a Radeon on there, a Parhelia, GeForce, uh, Vol Volari, a uh, Gamma a Chrome, I think, if I can read. This thing yeah. looks like it's the end-all, be-all of graphics cards. Yeah, and, and did you check it? It's got, it must have at least 50, like, 32K SD RAM chips on it. Did you see, I mean, do you yeah, see I that mean, thing? Yeah, that's, that's how you're, I mean, how else would you possibly fit such, such power? Right, yeah, you got to have at least 32k chips on that sucker. So, yeah, it's got a, it's got a Radeon, uh, an ATI Radeon. It's got one of the Parhelias on there that Marco talked about earlier. So, you, you know, you talk about, I don't know, you could probably do six monitors with this thing, but that that might be kind of crazy. That's crazy. Um, GeForce, an XGI Volare, and an S3 Gamma Chrome chip, just for giggles, you know. Right. And so, yeah. Uh, 10 gig of curiously high bandwidth Elemental P RAM too. That's always handy. And plus, this is, I think this is brought to you by Video Loco, which is a fully owned subsidiary of Apple Computers. I mean, it's crazy that they even bother with such things. But when they go into making something that's for power users, they really went all out. I think. Um, yeah, it, the thing scored 425 bung holio marks. You know, if you ask me though, it's kind of ridiculous. You don't really. One one graphics processor today is enough, let alone two or four like these cards. It, we're never going to need more than one GPU on a card. It's just you know, this is a complete. You think this is overkill? You think totally, totally overkill. overkill. Yeah, I, I guess. Well, I mean, if you're if you're running something like you know, one day when Duke Nukem comes out, Duke Nukem Forever, maybe you can yep. take advantage of this thing. You know, maybe that's that's the kind of thing that's going to use this. I don't know. Maybe. That's just crazy. Oh, by the way, hot hardware is available, obviously on the web at HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot hot hardware that's one word dot com okay don't add any spaces or numbers in it that's not the way it's going to work and then you know it's also optimized for internet explorer or if you have netscape it'll work on there too don't worry about is, it we're, we're working on it being cross-platform is it, it, it'll work in the aol browser too oh good good wait wait it, is netscape isn't that mozilla uh, there's a whole thing going on there. That, that's, that's for another show, I think. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's been it for this episode of Hot Hardware. Wait, yes. I, have, I have one more, one more thing to say. I, I got to show you something. Oh, no. It's... Yeah, I'm, ladies, take it easy now. Hang on. Yeah, baby. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> I don't know what See? we're looking at. MG. See that? That's, that's, that's short for main gear. Tell them about our contest, Marco. Main Gear. So our buddies at uh, Boutique Builder Main Gear are putting together a killer gaming rig that we're going to give away to a reader. This thing is jam-packed with all cutting-edge tech. We're talking SCSI hard drives, um, AGP-equipped motherboards, uh, Intel Pentium processor, Giga RAM um, in a full-tower case um, with a nice, strong power supply. Come by the site. 
Check out the details on the contest, and you, yes, you could win it. Power supply is like 50 watts. No joke. That's, Nuts. That is impressive. That's been it for this episode. Thanks for stopping by.